Good evening. Nicholas here, and I am out on a Wednesday night doing a little coon hunting. This happens to be the puppy's first time pursuing the raccoon. And so far it is complete chaos. So I'll give you the give you the, the details so far. I have four puppies who happen to be about uh, I guess they're almost five months old, they're like four and a half months old. And I have my two older dogs, Cooley and Rue. Both of them are, I would consider, fully finished coon dogs. They can strike, trail, and tree their own raccoon, all on their own. And they do a good job at it. The puppies are as green as green can be. They're not even tone trained yet, which is especially stressful. Because Cooley and Rue, I have more or less total control over them. If I hit the tone on the collar, my expectation is that they stop whatever they're doing, come and find me. And for the most part, they do that very, very well. Unless they're, you know, physically unable to, you know, due to, um, you know, topography features, let's say. But these puppies, they're running free right now. And if I need to get them back, I'm relying on them following Cooley and Rue. Which they might do. That's what I'm hoping for. So we're out in what is really my best coon hunting spot. Coon hunting out here in Oregon is not nearly as popular or as practiced as it is in other parts of the country. It definitely happens out here, but um, I would say bobcats are the main species that people are pursuing now. And it used to be mountain lions and bears when all that was legal. So coon hunting is not as popular out here, but there's still tons of raccoons. The problem I run into is that it's hard to find land to actually hunt them on. So this is one of my only good spots uh, that holds raccoons that's accessible. So that, that's where we're at. Oh, Cooley just opened. Cooley just opened. So she just struck, she just struck something. Tika and Clover are over there with her. Well, actually no, Clover's kind of off doing his own thing. But Rue and Tika are over there and I need to go catch up to them. And that is a lot of coyotes. What is Clover doing over there? Come on. Come on, pups. Clover! Clover! I gotta go get Clover. Good boy, come on, bud. Oh, he's coming. Good boy. Come on, Clover. All right. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. That's perfect. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, well, that was cool. That was about a, let's see, about a 200 yard recall. Awesome. All right, so I got all the four puppies with me now. And I think that Cooley and Cooley and Rue are treated, I think. Or they're at least working on it. Man, this is a lot to keep track of. Yeah, they got it treed. Come on, pups. Oh wait, we should go into it from the field side. Come on pups, this way. 
I wonder where they struck it from. Come on, let's go. Let's go this way. Come on, Clover, let's go. Good dogs. Good dogs. Do I got four? All right, come on. Come on, let's go, guys. Your mama's got one. Good dogs. Yeah, so cool. We just circled this field and hit a scent. Hit struck a track. Pip, don't walk in front of me, bud. Oh wow, Tika was actually in there with him. Still a ton of leaves on the trees. There's Rue. What are you doing, Rue? Be nice if I could see it before I go in there. I don't think it was this tree. Now she's quiet. Oh, did I just catch an eye? All right, I gotta figure out what's going on here. Okay, so I thought Kulu was treed and then something happened which caused her to uh, stop barking. I don't know what happened. She either lost it then she started taking off across the road and sprinting through a field. She was silent. So I don't know what, if she bumped something. Um, but I just want to give a little context for what I'm doing right now. This is... I'm trying to get through this brush. Like it's just... It's impenetrable. It is so insanely thick. And all this is blackberries. Everything has a thorn on it in here. And the dogs are keeping up with me good. Because they're small and they can go under it. But this is just brutal. This is reminding of me of why I kind of lost interest in coon hunting. It's fun, but it's just so thick. Okay, wow. That was just absolutely miserable. My God. So insanely thick, you can't get through. This place, two years ago, I guess two or three years ago, I used to come here a lot. I haven't really come here in a while. Last time I came here was to do some puppy training. And it used to be bad, but not this bad. It got a lot worse when we had this huge ice storm, I think two years ago now. Maybe it was last year, I don't know. Time is blurry. We had this huge ice storm. All the trees froze and tons of them fell down. So now this place, it used to be choked out with blackberries, stinging nettle, just misery. And then a ton of these big trees fell down in there. Come on guys, come on, let's go this way. A ton of those big trees fell down. And so now it's like you're walking, you're, you're going through the brush and then all of a sudden 
you're climbing through the canopy of a big tree. I don't know what kind of trees they are. But it just gets crazy. So anyways, I was trying to get to where Cooley was. She ended up pulling off and coming out and following me. Because she likes to do that. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, they started blazing across this field. I don't know if... I mean, they possibly had the coon on the ground and they were got away from them. I don't know. They also could have bumped a coyote. I've had a hard time getting them all coyote broke. Hi, Tika. You're doing so good, girl. So, yeah, I made it. I was just trying to come... This woodland right here. I was only 50 yards on the other side. I was trying to literally go 50 yards through the woods. And I couldn't I couldn't do it. So yeah, fun times. Now I don't know if Kool is working on the same one or what she's doing. But we're gonna find out. She's right up here. Good girl, Tika. Pretty impressed by Tika. She followed along with Cooley that entire way. She's just right there with her that whole way. That was pretty awesome. Come on, guys. They're doing good. They're sticking with me when I want them to. And they're going out and hunting with Cooley. And there's Cooley up there. I think I just saw an eye in there. Maybe not. Two, three, four. Okay, I got four puppies. Okay, okay, Cooley, let's go. I want to go this way. Oh my goodness. Well, thing is, if it was up a tree, I feel like I would see it, but maybe not. There's a lot of leaves. All right, I think I'm gonna scoop her up and go go forward. It's kind of interesting being back hunting here with these little puppies, because this is, I mean, this is really where I started hunting with Cooley. And this was way before I had Rue. Um, that field I was in, Cooley treed her first raccoon there when she was, I think, eight months old. Um, yeah, seven or eight months. And yeah, I mean, I've hit this place so hard and it just seemed to always have a ton of coons in it. But I've really, really changed a lot about the, you know, how I how I hunt with my dogs. Like this on foot in the middle of the night is not what I do anymore. But I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more of this kind of action um, now that I got these puppies. I need to get them on game. And raccoons are a great opportunity. I need to make sure they're not getting in the water. All right, Nick was here, out for another night of coon hunting. I cut the dogs loose and literally under two minutes later, Cooley struck a track and uh, she's been running it for the last 10 minutes or so. Uh, funny enough, I can see the tree that the raccoons are in. Assuming that she's running the track of these raccoons. But it's right off the road, so I'm just gonna sit here and wait. If she would have if she would have ran another 20, 30 yards up this road, she probably would have winded them in the tree. But uh, she's running the track proper, which is always good. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. And I'm hoping she'll fall treed right here off the road. I got all the puppies with me, 
and uh, they are doing good. They're trying to make it down to her, but it's super thick brush, and they're just not used to that, so uh, they're trying, which is all that I really care about right now, and we're out here doing it, so yeah. So they're in this tree right here. They must have been up there all day. It's awesome to see these pups using their nose. What's up there, Cooley? All right, Cooley figured it out. <laughs> Good girl, Cooley. That's it, girl. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's it, mama. That's it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Cooley. That's it. That's the one, girl. Good job, buddy.